What's up guys, got this little unboxing for you guys. Because I noticed there wasn't too much things on YouTube regarding these line of subs since they just came out last year. This is the DB Drive Euphoria EM or EWX 12D4, so it's dual four of course. Um, I'll give you guys a little spec sheet up on the screen, but it has 2500 peak power, so it doesn't really matter. 1000 RMS, 145 ounce ceramic ferret magnet, so that's good. Low carbon steel bottom plates, inch and a half wide DMF foam blend, designed to optimize SPL performance. So it's a good sounding sub, but it's also good for SPL, so I kind of wanted that balance and I wanted to try these out. Um, high excursion spider design, and also, of course, it's the dual four. Has a three inch voice coil, high roll surround. This is brand new. I believe if you buy these, they're a dealer product only right now, from what I was told, because you can't really buy them online like at Sonic Electronics or anything. I was told about these subs from a guy that was trying to sell me, he's a dealer for one of them, and uh, I just decided to look on eBay just to see what they had, just to see if they had any. And some guy was selling this one for 150 bucks plus shipping, so like 180, but he had a bid on it, so I talked him down to 130, so I ended up paying like um, 165 bucks for a $240 plus sub, you know, because you gotta pay the tax on everything, so that's why I paid for it. Brand new, get the unboxing knife out. Good old fashioned unboxing knife. Like I said, it's my first time having a DB Drive sub. It's the first time buying a new sub in a while. I think the last new sub I actually bought was like, this was back in the day, like five years ago. It was one of those orange Quantum Audio 15s. Got some more tape. So it's been quite a while since I've actually done a new sub, but this is gonna be going to my BMW, so hopefully, Hopefully it's gonna sound good. But, uh, get you guys in here for the money shot. So here's the sub. It's a 12, it's a dual four. Like I said, this is brand new in the box. Let's feel how the cone feels. The cone is super stiff, so that's good. A lot of people might not like this design, but I, I really do like the, the overall cap, the dust cap on it looks pretty nice. It's got the chrome and then uh, the black accents. Or the black with the chrome accent, so that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy out. All right, guys, so here's the sub. I'll do some glamour shots and everything, but as you can see, it's a pretty nice looking sub. It's definitely gonna look good in the in the Beamer when I get it in. But uh has this little plastic ring around, so you can put your screws in there, so it hides them. I wish it would have the, uh, the holes, like, not cut out so you can put them on there so you don't have to see any screws, but it's still nice regardless. All right guys, so here's the sub. Here's the magnet. Uh, nice little design back here. It's definitely a, a super heavy sub. I mean, I wouldn't say super heavy. Probably have to get the scale out on it, but this is a dual four. It's made by DB Drive. They do make some really good subs um, for, you know, SPL applications. These are supposed to be like their higher end subs. So it's like their whole different line. So it's actually made by DB Drive, but it's just their Euphoria, so. This does take 1000 RMS, like I said, 2500 max. Doesn't really matter about that, but 1000 RMS is what I wanted. As far as a box, I'm gonna be throwing this in a sealed enclosure, which is gonna come out to about um, 1.5 cubes, because that's what they recommend, so. So, taking a look at the sub, we got the steel basket, we got a nice paper cone. Definitely a, a solid basket on it. You got your push terminals, of course, on each side for both voice coils. Like I said about this sub, I do like the overall design. I think it looks uh, pretty nice, even with the big dust cap on it. You got your nice stitching on your rubber surround. The paper cone. And you got your little side profile with the, uh, the rubber surround setting up, so that looks really good. All right guys, so final thoughts on the sub. Like I said, it's my first time buying a DB Drive sub. I always have one I wanna just kind of got out of car audio then I decided to get back into it because I'm doing a build on the BMW so um, definitely nice quality looking sub all the materials feel nice has nice cone on it paper cone um, spider looks nice coil looks nice so hopefully it'll sound nice after I decide to get it hooked up I will be doing like um, you know some test videos and everything once I get 
it installed in the car, but that won't probably be for about another month from when I post this, so. Hopefully DB Drive made a good sub. And uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Because like I said, I know there wasn't, there's not any videos on these. There's a couple of videos of them playing, um, the tens at least. There's a couple of videos of those tens on YouTube playing. Um, but that's pretty much it. I might do a free air response video, but I guess that'll depend. But uh, like I said, guys, if you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching.